welcome back to my channel so you have landed your first travel nurse contract and orientation is coming up what do you do what do you expect what do you wear do not worry we're gonna cover all of that in this video so stay tuned let's get right into it So orientation is going to hopefully be a week long. Typically you're gonna go through hospital orientation three to four days and then one to two days on the unit for unit orientation. So the Friday before your contract is set to start, your recruiter is gonna send you out information called first day instructions. In that document, it is going to tell you where to go, so where to report to in the hospital. Usually it is the HR department or some type of auditorium, but it will have the exact address on there and usually it's pretty thorough it's in explaining how to get there. Uh, if you are worried about not knowing how to get there, just show up a few minutes early, like 15, 20 minutes, that way you can figure out parking and then actually find out how to get to the location and you aren't feeling flustered and rushed on your first day, okay? So let's get back to the first day instructions. So after you are told or they inform you of where to go, they're also gonna tell you what time to be there and what to wear. Orientation day one usually starts at 8 a.m. Unless you aren't getting hospital orientation, you're going to straight to the unit in which you have to be there at seven. Typically at orientation, it is going to be a wear your scrubs type of situation. Very few times they will say to wear business casual, but it does happen. I like when they tell me to wear business casual because when I do, I know that I am absolutely not going on the unit to work and I'm pretty much gonna get paid to sit on my butt and just hear people talk for hours and hours, which I'm totally fine with. So that is something you definitely wanna make sure that you pack. So if you are flying to your assignment, have a little carry-on bag with you and just have like your business casual and a set of scrubs with you just in case your luggage is lost because it has happened to me. My luggage has been lost and I had to show up with the whatever it was that I had in my carry-on. You'll get your first day instructions. You will find out in the first day instructions where to go, what to wear, what time to be there. So let's fast forward. It is Monday morning. It is the first day of orientation. You have shown up on the unit or at the facility. What happens next? All right, so if you are starting off with hospital orientation, just know you are gonna spend the next three to four days of your life sitting down, listening to people talk, hours and hours and hours on end about things that will absolutely not pertain to you as a travel nurse so take what they say with a grain of salt don't permanently put this in your brain like just know all this information is temporary it is only for this facility and once you are gone you can dump it and free up a space inside of your head all right usually they dismiss the travelers early once they start talking about things like benefits and payroll because that will not pertain to the travel nurses because you will not be on the facilities payroll or have their benefits that will come from your company so expect to be there from eight to five monday through wednesday or monday through thursday for hospital orientation now when you do unit orientation it can go one or two ways you can usually show up at 7 a.m. for the start of the shift and stay the full 12 hours, or they will have you to go straight from orientation to your unit to orient for four, six, eight hours. It just kind of depends on how their schedule is gonna go, and you will typically get the full orientation week schedule on that Monday. But we're gonna say that you did a full day of orientation, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and then on Thursday, you showed up on the unit to have a full day on the shift. Come prepared as if you are just going to work a full shift on your own. So whatever it is that you bring with you for a day at work, that's what you should have with you. If you bring your lunch, bring your lunch. If you need your fanny pack full of your stethoscopes, pen light, pens, notepads, sticky notes, whatever it is that you bring typically to work, bring it on that day with unit orientation. You will be assigned a preceptor 
depending on how great or not so great your preceptor is you may take a full patient assignment that day or they may just give you one patient just so you can get a feel of how to do the computer charting honestly if you are a travel nurse you should absolutely know how to take care of the patients your primary focus at that point is going to be figuring out how to get into the different areas of the unit so the codes for the med room the bathroom the staff lounge anything that is required require access the glucometer the pixies you want to make sure that you have the code to get into that door or a password to get into that device hey you need this done before you're finished with orientation because the last thing you want to do is when you have your first shift on your own is trying to figure out how to get into different things. It's just gonna to continue to have you flustered when you really don't want to be. So we're gonna be prepared. And by being prepared, we're gonna make sure that our preceptor gives us access to everything that we will need to get our job done efficiently. So we have access into the pixels. We have access into the glucometer. We can absolutely get into the computer charting, which I hope it is epic. And then we have the codes to all the doors on the unit, the supply room, the dirty supply, or we have badge access that we're needed to get into the locked areas of the unit. Okay, so once that is done, then we can focus more so on getting down the computer charting. Do not get flustered when it comes to computer charting. Most facilities will give you a day of orientation to teach you computer charting, but if they don't, just focus on what you need to focus on. Where to go to fill out the vitals, where to go to fill out the assessment, how to chart medications and where to go to see where the new orders are all the extra stuff you can figure that out later and by extras i mean care plans and education those things you honestly can figure out later you want to just focus on the most important things while you're in orientation which is charting vitals charting your physical assessment charting your medications and knowing where to go to see the physician's orders all right so week one orientation <laughs> it's just going to be a whole lot of new information it's going to be a lot in a short period of time but you got this you can do this trust me this is absolutely what you want in life no you haven't seen your first paycheck but i promise you once you see it it's going to be worth it believe me for me <laughs> the first two weeks and an assignment i'm always trying to figure out how to get places how to get down my time management just because i'm still not in a familiar environment so i'm just trying to work out the kinks to get into my flow or my rhythm so it takes me about two weeks to get there you may be different from me you may be able to land that after day one but if you are like me and you need a little bit of time to adjust give yourself some grace don't be so hard on yourself you are not a horrible nurse because that thought is going to come into your head you are not a horrible nurse you're a great nurse that's why you are a travel nurse because you can handle these things two weeks maybe three <laughs> and then you'll get it down and you won't even notice or they won't even notice that you're a traveler they'll probably consider you staff at that point. So that is orientation. Don't get so caught up in the formalities of orientation. Honestly, remember you are temporary at this hospital. You are not permanent staff. So most of the information that you get is gonna be irrelevant. But once you are in the unit, just do your best to give the best patient care and ensure that your reference or evaluation at the end of your contract is pristine. That is what you should be focusing on. I hope this video answered your questions about orientation and what to expect. If it didn't, don't worry. Just put a question down in the comments and I will be sure to answer it for you. Okay? Hope y'all learned something new. And as usual, if you didn't, there's more videos to come. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.